Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, my fellow Virgos, if you're new to the channel, what is up? I am gifted slash Leela, okay, and I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my turning subs, you know who you are, I appreciate you. This is going to be a Celtic cross. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? So, we have the Seven of Pentacles as you now, your current energy, your current situation okay seven of pentacles talks about maybe things being on pause in some area of your life the seven of pentacles also talks about states of gratitude you know actually feeling grateful you know for whatever reason i do see this sense of gratitude reflecting on your journey virgo maybe waiting for the fruits of your labor your hard work to pay off Seven of Pentacles is always a reminder, darling, to keep going. You're almost there. You've been doing the work. You may not see the fruits of your labour yet, but know that they exist, Virgo, and they're on the way. It's time to fall into the energy of faith, having faith, knowing that things are just going to fall into place for you. So just keep going. Give thanks for what you're about to harvest. And a lot of you guys know that already, especially those that are spiritual. You know something's brewing. You know you're deserving on it. You know you're deserving of it. Of it. You know it's time to shine, okay? Challenges right now. We have the Page of Cups. So there could be challenges about maybe not paying attention to the magic, to the synchronicities, Maybe being naive in romance. Mm -hmm. And that's going to hit home for some of you guys. Those of you that are really honest with yourself. Um, continuing this motivation may be a challenge for you. But trust me, I'm telling you to keep going. The world is your oyster, Virgo. You just got to believe it to receive it. Anything is possible. So stay on that vibration that anything is possible. Now, subconscious, we have the the hyphen card. You know, somewhere in the in the depths of your subconscious, maybe you're thinking about a Taurus. <laughs> and I say that because it does signify Taurus energy, but it doesn't have to be a Taurus that you're thinking about or subconsciously thinking about. This could be about tradition, traditionally. You know what happens you have you meet a person you get married you have children and that's what traditionally happens so maybe you've been thinking about stuff like that maybe you've been thinking about the lessons what are my lessons in this life have i learned them have i learned from past life experiences you've been thinking about education um training there's new paradigms there's new ways of thinking here listening to your spiritual guide within you know it's there if you find it it's there and a lot of you guys are paying attention to that past energy we have this strength card you a lot of you guys were not born on a golden spoon and you've had to give yourself an extra kick up the butt you've had to be courageous you've had to be the calm in the storm and keep your head leveled there's a lot of purity here there's a lot of spiritual matters here. there's a lot of compassion there's a lot of quiet strength you've been very brave virgo you have been shining your light you have been facing uncertainty with courage and saying do you know what it's gonna be all right you've been keeping the calm virgo you've been keeping the calm you've been getting your power back now, consciously, or the present energy, we have the Ace of Wands, which is beautiful energy, I must say, Virgo. What's so beautiful about the Ace of Wands gift here? Well, I'm about to tell you. The Ace of Wands is about new ideas here, new ideas forming. It's about 
the seeds of potential that the universe is planting for you. This is the arrival of inspiration, starting to feel inspired again. You having the ability to manifest your true desires and what it is that you want. Manifest anything. This is about planting seeds for your future. This is about getting creative again. This is about mirroring your subconscious with your conscious energy. It's about getting your spark back, baby. Getting your mojo back. And that's what I see here. There's a magic here. There's new information here. There is uh, stuff going on with regards to your divine purpose or your soul path. Maybe you feel compelled to do something completely new. But you're starting to feel good. If it feels good, it's probably good. I see new projects here, new ideas. There's a successful completion here and it's available to you. Now, forward energy, we have the Eight of Cups. So I see you finally, for some of you guys, especially in the realms of love, letting go, abandoning the past, abandoning old wounds, releasing what no longer serves you. Um, moving stuck energy, walking away from somebody here, leaving your old reality to pursue a new one. People that's abandoned you, people that's disappointed you. Um, releasing that last cup into the sea. It's almost like a ceremony is done, is dusted. This is one about love and it takes courage it takes bravery to let go of somebody or something or a way of feeling walking away from negativity and choosing yourself and being rebellious in acts of self-love and putting yourself first and once you take that step oh it's such a powerful thing it's like leaving um a very toxic or abusive relationship that takes a lot of courage it really does. So moving on to <clears throat> your strengths or your talents or your ability. The Seven of Wands has come out here. And this is about grounding yourself. You have the ability to ground yourself. You have the ability to protect yourself. You have the ability to remain actually a few steps in front. You have the ability to express yourself. You have the ability to feel vulnerable and honour that vulnerability and honour your feelings. Movement, growth. People are going to hate. People are not going to want to see you win. But you're deserving of success. So you have the ability to shine your light into the world regardless if people want to be part of your team or not. That's a them problem, that's not a you problem. But what I see is you guys putting yourself first, standing your ground, okay? <clears throat> How others see you. We have the beautiful emperor, alpha energy here, no matter your sex, okay? People see you as a natural born leader, Virgo. People see you as somebody that is strategic, analytical, Somebody that takes action. Somebody that doesn't sit around feeling sorry for themselves. Somebody sees you as somebody that actually <clears throat> promotes yourself. Upgrades yourself. Other people see you as extremely ambitious. Now we have hopes or fears. Two of ones. <clears throat> for me as a Virgo. <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like the fear side of it is kind of like staying in limbo. Not doing nothing, not moving forward, not evolving, not growing, not planning your future, not making any progress. Insecurity is coming to light. Fear stopping you. Worry. You, 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 you don't want that. The hope side is starting to plan your future. To activate something within your soul. To... Get out of your comfort zone to bask in new adventures and take a healthy risk. 
And I don't know what's up with tarot, but the outcome, the closing message is very beautiful indeed because I've already seen it. And I was extremely happy to see it for us, Virgo. Honestly, we deserve it. You, we do deserve it because we've been through a lot. We've put in that work. You have the Ten of Pentacles as your outcome, as your closing message. This is about spiritual abundance, material abundance. This is about community, radiating your love, generosity, wealth, prosperity, building a legacy, baby. And as you become successful, you share your wealth with those you love. Oh, baby, this is a big one. All the love, all the abundance, all the joy that you can muster in your heart is coming your way and it's coming fast. So it's time to prepare for the inevitable arrival and to commit to your long term success. This energy is so big, in fact, that you should be prepared to spread some of it around generously. Yeah, positive energy here. Everything is about to shift for the better. You are one small move away, Virgo, from seeing the bigger picture. I see huge legacy here. Beautiful things. Whew, I'm ready for it, Virgo. Are you? Anyway, that is your Celtic Cross reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it, wherever you are in the world, Virgo. Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot. As I always say, my darlings, be kind to others, darling, as you always are, Virgo. But most importantly, be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.